on this rectangle at the north end of Hamilton, the city of Hamilton bought land from a local farmer and started to hold athletics. In 1928, the stadium was built, and they called it Civic Stadium, keeping it simple. 1950 was when this stadium hit the big time. That was when the Hamilton Tigers and the Hamilton Wildcats merged to become the compound menace they call the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And in the 50s and 60s, this place was famous for being one of the ugliest venues for football around. It was so ugly that television broadcasters would try their best to avoid filming here. But then they shook things up. 1970, they began a rebuilding of this place into what was, for a time, the biggest stadium in the league. Over 34,000 seats. Could have been a glorious thing, but uh, they made one big mistake. They forgot the essence of a rectangle of grass. All you need to play football is a rectangle of grass, and they couldn't get that right. Because they made it a rectangle, but they didn't make it grass. It was around this time that uh, some people with big ideas thought that grass was a thing of the past, and that we'd be okay with this new invention that, uh, first they called it chemgrass, uh, and then it was more fancifully rebranded to AstroTurf. So now, instead of smelling that dewy grass in the morning, I only smell the plastic of fake grass. So, my favorite memory, though, of this place. It's 1975, when Pink Floyd played the last show of their North American tour. And in the grand finale, They decided to use up all the remaining fireworks, and they blew up the scoreboard. Yep, that was really the high point here at Ivor Wynn. Now it's remembered for dreary and gloomy matches. And really, nothing says football. Nothing brings out that dark side of football better than this. This sad, yet in its own way wonderful, little rectangle of fake grass.